My book for the Theodore Seuss Award was Mouse and Mole, A Perfect Halloween. Um, the author and illustrator were was Wong Herbert Yee. Um, the Mifflin Harcourt was the pub publisher, copyright date 2011. Um, it's a transition book, 48 pages, and appropriate age would be 3rd through 5th grade. So in this book, the two characters are Mouse and Mole, and through the their interactions you really get to know a lot about the characters. Mouse is very supportive and a little trickster he likes to scare his friends and Mole is very scared and throughout the book you can really see him um, become less fearful. Um, in the book they both wake up and realize that it's almost Halloween time so the book takes place in October. Um, they have two completely different reactions. Mole is terrified because of all the scary things that happen during Halloween, and Mouse is thrilled because it's his favorite time of the year. They both get an invite to a like jack-o'-lantern carving contest, so they rush and get the perfect um, pumpkin to carve. Mole carves his right away and gets scared that Mouse will see it, so he puts it in a box and hides it under leaves for a couple days. Mouse waits a couple days to carve his pumpkin and carves it the day of the competition. So they go to the competition, um, Mouse wins the silliest jack-o'-lantern and Mole wins the scariest because his was in a box under leaves so it smelt gross and it was sunken in like an older pumpkin because it was in a box. So after that they decide it's time to go pick out costumes and at this point we really see how terrified Mole is of Halloween. He doesn't even want to go trick-or-treating because it's too scary. So Mouse pulls out a book and reads it to his friend and it's about a mouse and a mole who were going trick-or-treating together and they were both terrified of everything. But at the end the mouse tells the mole that together they can be brave. So Mouse tells his friend Mole that together they can be brave and they can have a fun Halloween. So they both get their costumes together and then they go trick-or-treating and they have the perfect Halloween. Um, the illustrations in the book were done with pencil and watercolors, so you can tell that they're painted with watercolors and then um, outlined in pencil. And they're kind of, they don't cover the whole page, it's kind of more of a collage. Kind of just showing what's going on in the book for the kids to better understand what's going on. Um, I think this book is really good for kids because it's a transition book and it's really easy to understand for the kids and the pictures really help um, set the scene and show them what is going on along with the words. Um, my connection to this book is probably how terrified Mole was but Mouse told him that together they can be brave. Sometimes it's so easy to get scared but when you have someone else with you it's okay. So like for example a haunted house. I would never go alone, but I have no problem going with another person just because that helps me be braver, I guess, as you as was seen in the book multiple times with Mouse and Mole. Um, an activity for the book, since it is for older kids, um, I think it'd be fun for them to write a story, either something that happened or something they made up, um, about a time that they were scared or could be if they make it up, and then how they um, conquered that fear and uh, had bravery to overcome it. So that was Mouse and Mole, A Perfect Halloween by Wong Herbert Yee.